hey guys, I know we've all been in this position to where we have a job or jobs on the line and our printhead just doesn't want to do the right thing. It was just printing fine the day before. You've done all your maintenance you can possibly do and you fire this thing up and it just doesn't want to work. What normally happens, especially in this DTF realm, if you know, is we start to reverse flush, push ink, cleaning solutions, alcohol, and do all these maintenance tricks to see if we can get this printhead working. Many of us don't understand or don't know that there is a much faster way to get down to the solution and get down to the bottom of if you actually need to change your print head or not. And it should steer you clear of tons of waste, save you a lot of time and get you moving right along so you can knock your projects out and get your jobs done. We're gonna go over it today, how to troubleshoot your print head, how to determine whether it should be changed or not, and how to use your print EXP controller software to get the job done. You ready? Let's get started. So as you see here, the yellow is, is, is definitely not yellow. I woke up this morning and did a nozzle check and I was totally missing the yellow. Otherwise, the print head's printing perfectly. I'm getting a perfect nozzle check for black, cyan, and magenta, but just no yellow. So I'll show you guys, this is what I saw when I first woke up this morning. And as you see, there, there's zero yellow at all. And then you can look right here and you can tell that that yellow is, looks more like a peach. So we're missing something. So this is where the problems begin. First off, you're telling yourself, everything looks good, everything's perfect, I'm just missing a color. If only I can get this yellow running, we'll be fine. Well, as you and I all know, this can lead into days, sometimes weeks, of tinkering around with these print heads until we decide that we actually need to get another one. This is what I've began to do in my journey of this DTF, and it saves me a lot of time. And I still go through the threads. I go through threads daily over different various social media sites, and I see these same issues pop up quite often and it just comes from either a lack of inexperience in using these printers or not really understanding the print exp software and your controller software and how you can actually use it to troubleshoot these issues because the last thing we want to do is waste 15 yards of film whether it's uv dtf or dtf or printing period that's the last thing you want to do is waste your medium because you're losing money and you're wasting time. And, and, and quite often we have jobs on the line. There's an easy, fast, quick way to determine whether you need to change this print head or not. So the first thing we need to do is get in this print head. So with this refined color printer, UV DTF printer, you take off. This is really easy. You just take these off. I'm pretty sure everybody knows how to get to their print head. It'll be the number one change part on this machine. What we wanna do is get a napkin or paper cloth, or whatever you get to keep this ink from pouring out. What well, you wanna get this damper off and grab you a syringe and with the syringe 
you want to draw out. Let's get this here. You want to draw out a few cc's of ink from the damper. And this will also help you test out your damper. Make sure that's flowing. So we get that UV ink out of the damper. You don't need much. Couple cc's, two, three cc's. Get your damper off to the side. And then I use some plastic tubing. But you put this little plastic tubing on it and then get that down into the nozzle right on top. I got that on there. I don't know if you guys can see it, but it's on there. And then slowly and carefully squeeze the ink through. You don't want to do it too hard. Just a little bit of tiny pressure. Now, if, it, if you have to put too much pressure, you'll know it's clogged and you can just stop. But you can see we're just pushing it a little bit at a time. Not a lot of pressure. Not a lot of pressure. The object is just to get some ink directly into these nozzles because we're going to see if they'll fire. Now, that's done. We take it off. You can see the ink there. And we want to take our printhead and slide it over to the middle of our platform. So bring it over. You can see the yellow inks inside. Bring it over to the middle of our platform. And then we're back on print EXP. So where we want to go to is the advanced setting tab and here in factory so this this technique will work uh no matter what controller you use so if you're using kf printer a2s um there's several other controllers for different boards they all have this type of functionality so you might want to talk with your sales rep or support or whoever you need to talk to if they'll give you the uh privileges you need to access this equipment some of you guys may be on service contracts so they may not want to but if you are importing from china and, and you have pretty much an overseas printer uh, you should be able to get this information and go into where you need to go to to uh, perform this function we're about to do so in print exp it's in at the advanced tab in factory it may be different for some of you guys systems uh you may have a more updated one than mine i got my printer about six months ago and i know a uh, refine color just pretty much changed up their software so i don't have the new stuff but the password should be the same for all print exp users and it's six ones one 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 and hit confirm and then it lets you in and it brings this tab right up now what we need to do when we get in here is go to this flush tab. Some people setups it will say flash. For my particular setup it says flush, but all you need to do is get into this menu and then we press this flush and flush out our print head in the middle of our platform and we can look and see if colors are firing if we're missing anything and then that will help you determine 
what you need to do next. So we're going to go over to the print head, get it all set up. I'll show you how I do it and a way you can do it and what you need to do. And then hopefully this helps you guys figure out uh, what needs to be done next. And uh, we're going to figure out what needs to be done next today as well. So let's get over there and get that process started. Back at the printer. Now, let's lock the, the print head back. Hit the lock button. And as you can see, I don't know if you can, guys can see it, but here's the test here. This is varnish down here. You see all our varnish. One, two, three, four, five, six. All our varnish looks good. And then here's your black, cyan, white, yellow, and magenta. And, and, and look at it. The white, eh, we could still use it. And the cyan looks like it's slightly, it's starting to go. And then you see our black and our magenta looks good, but we see no yellow at all. So this here lets us know that it's not firing the way it needs to fire. And we know we can change our print head. And I'll let you guys see it again. See if I can pull. Here's the varnish. Some of you guys might not be able to see this, but this varnish is great. This is what you should see when you run this operation. And then here... We're not firing anything, and you see we've pushed ink through that head, so this lets us know we need to change the print head. So let's get that done, and then see what happens. So, so I'm going to speed through this, because this is not really a video on showing you how to change the print head. It's more or less showing you how to troubleshoot when your print head needs to be changed. Let me speed through this, and then we'll be right back and we'll see if we are getting uh, good prints. All right, guys. Okay, guys, so we got the screws out and I, I'm gonna get this print head out and I'm gonna show you with these refined color printers what you need to look for now we're not going to change the um cables or anything but when you get this print head out and you get the cables off it's it should be numbered one and two and there's a little there's a seal here you want to make sure you get this off and on to the new print head, this little gasket. Don't forget that. And there's our print head. So let's get this one changed. Hardly any yellow except what we pushed through. So let's get this one changed to see what happens. All right, we have the new print head installed and we can run our test and see how it turned out. Yellow. So 
We did an ink load. Looks like we're getting our yellow back. Changing the printhead definitely worked. Um, I'm going to do the flush again, and we'll see the difference of that test too. We'll clean it one more time. Yes, sir. We have the yellow. So we got three good yellow ones in a row, and our nozzle check looks pretty good. So what we'll do is we'll move this print head to the middle and then we'll perform another flush test. So once again, we are in print EXP and you go to advanced and put in your password. One, two, three, four, five, six, six ones. Hit confirm. And then we go up here to the top and we want to find flush. Uh, yours can say flash. And it's basically, it's going to do the same thing. You just press it three times, three or four times. One, two, three, four. And then we are done. So we'll bring her back home and this is our new flush test from the new print head. And we're getting all colors firing. Varnish looks good. And then you, there you have it. We are good to go. So now we can lock this in and try and get a print. Okay, so this is after we put everything back and we perform our nozzle print head change and nozzle check and got the yellow confirmed working. This is how beautiful this printing. Just wanted to show you guys that. And uh, hopefully this video helps you guys. And hopefully you guys can uh, continue to find these videos helpful. That's it, guys. Bye.